now you can see them. Those are the hills right above Illinois. And that little hollow there, that's where the big limestone spring is. Turning down to Klein Road. These are the Nunleys, total assholes. But behind them uh, is their son, who was a real nice guy, diesel mechanic, truck driver. <laughs> water down here. It never really gets marshy up here for some reason. It's a bizarrely broad and flat and straight valley. Sequatchie Valley. People used to say it was a rift valley that doesn't appear to be accurate. It appears to be just a uh, fluke that it's this straight, wide, flat valley. But you can see from space, once you've gotten used to it, where it is, it's this little uh, white finger going into all the green around Appalachia. You can see it from uh, basically any map of America that's got the, you know, sort of trees and elevation color. Right there. Flat and straight. It's one of the reasons that I liked it. The idea of it. I didn't want to really, at first I didn't want to move to the real mountains because it's hard to get around. That's the uh, cars, old man cars, real old. His wife died a few years ago. Both of these houses have a kick-ass connection to that spring up there. They've got, well, I guess this house had, but presumably it's still got the easement to the big spring boxes up there which I would love to get video of, but the trails are just a little too crazy at this point. You kind of have to get a four-wheeler or else go the long way around, taking, uh, taking uh, Steve Pickett's trails. And now we're on Ulanawi. Shipping container comes with it. Got this nice parking lot down here. Some flat space slopes off down the, down the gully. That's the uh, property line. That zone's full of uh, black walnut trees. Got some trash right here. There's a little slope coming in. It's full of gravel. Put it there myself. And it comes around. top of the ridge, which is where the power line connects. You got that power pole with the box, just needs a meter. Right there is our water tank. That connects into our homemade water system, which goes to the same spot as those limestone spring boxes, uh, but doesn't use the box. It uses the overflow from the box, because we don't have the rights to the box, we just have rights to the water. And that is all legit and above board, except for the fact that I go across this lady's land up here uh, that just got logged and has zero going on. And I don't have explicit permission to it, but um, pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't know if you can see much of the pipe anymore, but it came to here. And it's probably pretty repairable, maybe a day or so work to actually get that water running again. And then that water goes on down to a few spots down there. Uh, hard to say what kind of condition it's actually in. Uh, let's see. 